Why do we tend to appreciate people only when they have left us? Why do we usually want to be with someone more only when they are no longer here? I believe this has to do with the balance between wanting what we perceive others might have and appreciating what we currently do have. I will show you how we can tip this balance in order to sustain a strong relationship with anyone, borrowing principle of immunology. In immunology, we know that mounting not enough of the right kind of an immune response would not protect us from viruses, bacteria, or even cancer. But too much of an immune response, even a desirable one, would lead to disease. In my research, we highlight this importance of this delicate balance in order to optimize immune protection, such as one induced by vaccines. So how does it exactly help you maintain a meaningful longer-term relationship? Well, first, you must trust the process that I'm going to reveal to you, because only then you would be predetermined to make it work. The power of believing and preconditioning our brains is everything. Okay, so you need to also actually acknowledge that any relationship, good or bad, will end at some point, and that is okay. Pick a number, say two years. This help put us in perspective and help us be in control of the situation. It will also help us tune down the pressure that we might have put on ourselves to confirm to the perceived expectations of the person we are with, and also the expectation that we desire from this person. So now we know we would like to build and sustain a relationship for at least two years. Great. Let us bring back some more immunology. When we get vaccinated. There is a stereotypical kinetic of how an immune response plays out over time. At the beginning, we will induce a very high response, but over time it will decrease and could eventually wane off. So, how can we sustain this immune protection, at least for the duration we set? Well, you must have heard of boosters, and that is exactly how we also will sustain the spark of any relationship. Within the two years that we planned, we need to purposely decide to put in several checkpoints where we want to introduce boosters. Say every three months for the next two years, the booster in our case will be action points that stem from answering this one question: Are you ready? The question that we will ask ourselves at each of these booster point is: What is good about this individual? To answer this question, think about why did you initially so desire to start a relationship with this person? It can be any kind of relationship, friendship, professional relationship, mentorship, whatever it is might be, a romantic relationship. What are some great qualities and quirky memories you had with and about this person? What was something you have learned about this individual over time that you believe setting him or her apart in your own mind? And to be honest with yourself, trying to also think about what and how do you believe that this person will complement you or help you gain or achieve what you always want or might not have had in your past, your childhood, for example. What about this person that will help the two of you build what you believe is a safe and secured harbor for you in the future? It does not matter what the answer to this question might be. It also doesn't matter whether they are logical or not. The key here is to be reminded of what you believe is good about this person to you. Of course, each of us is different. But by reminding ourselves of the good qualities of the person whom we are currently with, you will be prompted to make certain actions that work for you too, which would sustain the spark between the two of you. This ultimately will help tip the balance that we discussed earlier between appreciating the person and things that we currently have, 
and our so natural desire to have something more or something different from another person that we believe to be more valuable. Some of you might already be thinking, but what if this relationship is actually quite toxic? What if this person is not for me? Well, this is exactly why we set a time period at the beginning and several checkpoints along the way. At any point you feel that you would like to put your effort and energy onto someone else, by preconditioning yourself that you will first remind you what we love, what we like, what we appreciate about this person will actually help you prevent from making or committing drastic decisions. And this, this is the key to every longer term relationship. I also believe that each relationship would teach us something valuable about ourselves if we do take time to reflect on it. And by giving the person whom we are with the benefit of the doubt that this person is worth every effort of our time and energy, in order to appreciate what is good about them, we will necessarily create an environment in which the wrong person will leave, but the right person will stay. And when the right person stay, by giving our relationship periodic, purposeful checkpoints that it needs to grow, to sustain, to be reminded, to spark, to revive, we will be on our way to a fruitful, longer term, stronger relationship filled with joy, gratitude, and mutual growth.